Uh, that was started about two years ago by eight scientists, uh, basically half from hard science, the other half from uh, humanities. So now, by now, it's more or less one of the most important Italian forum about uh, for discussion on research and high, uh, higher education policy. So just to give you some number, in a few years, in two years, uh, we have published about 1,300 articles. We got uh, something like 14,000 comments and uh, 4.5 million views. So, you know, the, in Italy uh, there was a reform of university and uh, research institution a few years ago. And then uh, um, <clears throat> with this reform it was introduced uh, a national agency for evaluation. So what we have basically done to follow in the the various steps of the implementation of this reform and of the uh, way in which the uh, national uh, evaluation uh, was done by this agency. So <clears throat> this uh, has raised a lot of attention and a lot of discussion because basically the, 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 the point is that uh, we were more, uh, say, used to uh, know which are the standards of the, uh, of the evaluation agency in other uh, uh, countries, so we could compare what was going on in Italy with, uh, for example, in England or France or Australia and so on. And uh, as this is a, a very critical point, because touch also the recruitment, uh, the promotion of people and so on. Everybody is looking uh, at us with a lot of attention because of this reason. The former Prime Minister uh, asked this question, so why should we pay a scientist uh, if we make the most beautiful shoes in the world? Which uh, seems a paradoxical question, but in, instead uh, is a very important point in a way, because uh, um, it asks what's the reason to invest in science and in culture, and I think this is not a problem specifically of Italy, but uh, of Europe in general. Then clearly, at the European level, uh, there are also problems, uh, um, for example, uh, concerning uh, the strategy to give uh, uh, financial to support to scientists, for example, how to distribute uh, uh, funds, no? Uh, I mean, uh, who, who decides uh, what, what's the strategy uh, and uh, who, who takes the most important uh, um, decisions? It seems that uh, uh, most of them are politicians or uh, bureaucrats in Brussels, while instead it seems that uh, there is no it'll be a, 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 an important feedback from that. In the, in the last few years, uh, there is a, this a trend of giving money to the top 2%, 5% of the project and of the researcher. So one has to ask, uh, is this an efficient way of, the, of uh, distributing money? For example, I, I think uh, it is not, but one, one, one has to discuss about these things. Right. We have to discuss with people from other countries to find out, I mean, to write a white paper at the European level, that's for sure. I mean, cultural action, I think one has to enter in the public discussion on newspapers and so on by, for example, from my point of view, giving the contribution of a scientist. So, with uh, concepts uh, which have uh, scientific evidence, uh, which are typical from the academic world. I instead of uh, uh, having, uh, say, ideological uh, uh, statement uh, or uh, economic interests, which dictate uh, the agenda, because, I mean, uh, it seems that nowadays uh, the, 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 that's the problem. I think uh, it must be hope, because the formation of Europe, Europe must, must pass through science and culture. I mean, not through bureaucracy or uh, incomprehensible rules from Brussels or financial affairs. It must pass through science and culture. I think that was the aim of the founders of Europe, to have a common culture. I mean, we have to start from there. Otherwise, uh, really, we, we are... At least this is the feeling, uh, seeing it from uh, the Italian perspective, but it seems that uh, Europe is on the borderline to have a big crash. 
in the very soon if uh, the, the, there is not such, such an action from from the people. I mean.